For one reason or another, there may come a time where you need to deactivate your Shopify account and close your Shopify store. It's a pretty simple process, and you can do it once you're signed into your Shopify admin. You will need to have certain permissions to make these changes. Currently, I'm logged in as the store owner. So let's go ahead and get started. To deactivate your Shopify account, head on down to Settings in the bottom left-hand corner. From there, we're going to head on up to Plan, which is the second option from the top. And this is where you'll see your current plan. It's whatever plan your store is currently using. This store is already paused. It's on the pause and build plan, but we're going to go ahead and deactivate the store. So to do that, we'll head on down to the deactivate store button down at the bottom. Shopify will then give you the option to start a new free trial to test out a new store. And it also says that your existing store will be deactivated, but will retain your information for two years. In this case, we don't want to start a new store. We actually want to take a break completely and deactivate the store. Now, before we go ahead and make it official, Shopify would like to understand why it is that you're closing the store. So go ahead and have a look through the different options here and choose whichever one makes the most sense for you. You do have the option to add additional notes if you'd like. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and hit that continue button. Now it says here that once you deactivate your store, you will no longer have access to the Shopify admin. So make sure that you save or export any important information before you deactivate your store. So once you're ready, we can go ahead and enter the current password on file. And once you've entered your password, you can go ahead and hit the deactivate now button. And there you have it, your Shopify store is now deactivated. Now it is important to note that your store information will be stored for two years. Shopify will hold on to that for you. So if you do decide to reactivate your Shopify account, you can do that by selecting a new plan and reopen your store that way. If you found this Shopify tutorial helpful, please do give it a like and subscribe and be sure to stay tuned for more Shopify videos.